ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to this episode of What's Up A Drink. I am shooting from YA1. And I am Sean from 3E2. We are your Drink Roving Reporters for today. In today's episode, we will be talking about the highly anticipated event this month, our very own Drink Sports Carnival 2019. This event is co-organized by Drink Student Council as well as our PE department teachers. Today's event will see the entire school population participating in various sports and games at different venues around the school campus. There will be football, badminton, basketball, eliminator and dodgeball. Isn't that amazing? There will also be a CrossFit event whereby all JYers are encouraged to take part and contribute to their class overall fitness score. Last but not least, we will be giving out the inaugural Fittest JYN Award to the Fittest JYN today. This is going to be an exciting day. Let's go and check out the different venues where the games are happening right now. So you can, as you can see, we are uh, just in front of the general office and we're going to find Mr. Neo and interview him. Come, follow me. Okay, yes, good morning. So as you know, today uh, is Sports Carnival for us, for Drink, right? So what do you hope to see in uh, today's Drink Sports Carnival? Okay, I'm very happy to join the first uh, uh, Sports Carnival in Drink. Uh, I just joined uh, five, six months. This will be my first to witness this. Uh, I hope that this um, sport carnival will bring the friendships and the bond among the GYNs. Uh, because over the last few months, you'll be busy uh, learning and preparing for your exams. And hopefully this uh, sport carnival will bring all of you together by coming together to build a friendship that we can force you further than just in the school. After interviewing Mr. Neon, we're going to catch Mamso, which is just outside near Sunken Plaza. Come. Good morning, Mamso. Uh, this is during second sports carnival, right? So what do you hope to see or what is the objective of this sports carnival this year? So as a JYN, what do you hope to see happen? Uh, I hope to see uh, more JYNs bonding not only with their own class but with other core as well. This is exactly what we hope to achieve. Since last year, we started the first sports carnival and then we have gotten feedback from the student. And this year, we have actually made some adjustment to the programs and activities. So we hope that beyond class bonding, we will also be able to use it as an effective platform to build a positive school culture. I see. Thank you, ma'am, so for your feedback. Um, what do you think about the preparations for today for Sports Carnival? We did a lot of preparations. Uh, we didn't just start today, we started a long time ago. So we started with brainstorming for the games that the JYs would play. And today we came down early to set up the booths and the layouts. Okay, so now I'm going to try one of the uh, student council activities, which is cup stack. So now we're going to uh, interview one of the organizers, which is Mr. Chung Kuo which is just right behind me. So come, follow me. Good morning, Mr. Chung. You're being interviewed. Yes. So from feedback from last year, right? Other than just invo involving uh, other cohorts, uh, do you have have you made any changes? Um, now the rules are more explicit. It's all written out, and the students actually have to sign on it, like acknowledgement form of the rules that they are to play with before the start of the game. So, like, do you think lessons, uh, sports carnival after lessons is more effective, or do you think the whole day of sports carnival is more effective? Um, I think for a whole day of sports carnival, the students will get to enjoy more to a fuller extent because they are more energetic the whole day. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chung. Okay, so now we are just outside our very own school field and we are going to be interviewing one of the station, station IC, which is Mr. Santil. Come, follow me. Good morning, Mr. Santil. You're being interviewed. 
Okay, so like, are the student safety uh, being taken care of? Um, they have, we have three teachers, one, two, three, three, four of us to actually oversee and we have our group of crew to help us oversee the student safety. Yeah. Okay. Thank you Mrs. Andy for your time. Behind me are the people that are, that are working very hard behind the scenes to make sure that students are safe. So these are the NCDCC first aid team. So my name is Gina. My name is Danny and I'm from 282. Okay, so um, have you encountered any problems about the student safety? So far no. Um, everyone is doing everything properly. So so far there's no casualties, which is good. Okay, uh, thank you for your time. Good morning, Miss Nadia. So I see you're a bit busy. Hi, Sean! So, what do you think about the Crosby event? As you can tell, I'm very pumped up! <laughs> yep, any more questions? Um, what do you enjoy about this event? Eh? Okay, I enjoy that we can, you know, like get fitter so I can show off my girls. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, Miss Nadia, for your time. So do you think the, uh, the students and the staff here are enjoying their time here? I think it's a challenge for a lot of them. Uh, it's, it helps a lot if everybody gets out and moves once in a while. Uh, so everybody is trying their best. Uh, you can see they're all very tired, so that's good. Okay, um, thank you Mr. Al for your time. You. Once again, I'm Sean from 3E2 and I'm your roving reporter for Zooing Sports Carnival. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We hope all of you had a great time. Stay tuned to our next episode of What's Up at G. Bye bye!